Thank you, everybody. Uh, firstly, I would like to thank Jenny for her kind words. She has been a formidable opponent. She has been supported by some of the best campaigners that this party has, responsible for our tremendous successes in the city of Cardiff. Jenny has made me fight for every single one of those votes today. And I'd like to pay tribute to the, everything that she has achieved in her political career to date. And I want her to have a big role to play when I draw up my team in the coming days. I'd also like to thank my own campaign team, all of them who have worked so hard for this victory today. Claire Powell, the agent, Mark Williams MP, the chairman, managed by Veronica German and Ali Goldsworthy, supported by the ever-present Ed Wilson, Dadan Riku and, and Sarah Kerr, to Rob Humphreys and Derry Knight, who have been tremendous in their help, support and advice. There are many, many more, but I will be forever grateful for their support that they have shown me and for the faith that they have had in me to do this job. I'd also like to thank my colleagues Peter Black and Mick Bates, who unfortunately is unwell and can't join us here today, as well as my parliamentary colleagues in London, both in the Commons and the Lords, for having the faith in me to be able to do uh, this job. I too, like Jenny, would like to thank the returning officer, Roger Burley, one of the unsung heroes of this group. Roger that dealing with Claire hasn't been too onerous <laughs> a job. There was a reason I picked her for an agent and I'm sure you've discovered that in recent weeks. But to Roger, thank you so much. And to all the Assembly uh, staff who in their spare time have stuffed all the envelopes, sent all the ballot papers out and counted them all back in. I look forward to working with all of you in the years to come. I would also like to pay tribute to Mike German. Mike <coughs> has been a tremendous leader of this party mm -hmm. since he took up that job. He will be an incredibly hard act to follow. But I know that if I ever need help and support, Mike will be there with wise words for me. He's already begun to help me find out how I can tackle Peter Black. Should we to start to get out of hand? <laughs> but Mike, I am acutely aware that if it wasn't for your leadership of this party, I perhaps wouldn't even be the Assembly Member for Brecon and Radnor, let alone taking on this new challenge today. And Mike isn't going anywhere, should anybody think that he is. He will be playing a full role in the Assembly Group, and I look forward to continue to working with him. As a party, we have broken the moulds today by electing a woman, and I am incredibly proud to have been a part of that process and for this party to achieve that important milestone in Welsh political history. And during this campaign, both Jenny and I have spoken a lot about the need to change the party, and we've been quite frank about it. But that change is for a purpose. Because while we can improve what we do and the way we do it, the greatest challenge we face is to build this party up. All parties are finding it hard to recruit. But I believe we have something unique to offer the people of Wales. As we've seen today, it's our members that set the direction. They have their say in how this party works. So I say to people outside of this room, if you have been turned off by politics, by the way the Labour Party has left Wales down, or the Conservatives' attitude, or Plaid's abandonment of principles, then come, come home, come here and join us. There is a party in Wales that is on your side, that wants to reach out to people across the country, to listen to people and their communities, and to take their concerns to the National Assembly, to Cardiff Bay. We realise that even in a small nation such as ours, <coughs> one size does not fit all. I want our party to be the voice for those communities, for those people that feel they don't have a stake 
in the political, political structures of Wales, who feel let down and that the heady days of the creation of the Assembly has not resulted in real change for them or their families or the places where they live. I promise to take our message out to all of Wales. We will reignite the flame of liberalism that once burned so bright in this country. Today, we have lit that flame. And I am determined that as leader of this party, that the Welsh Liberal Democrats will blaze a trail for a new politics for Wales. <laughs>